Okay, after a couple of stupid operator errors, we're ready to try to uh, <coughs> tune this thing up. First thing you got to do is make sure this thing's in the tune position. I had it in the filaments off position. That <laughs> won't work. Got to have it in the tune position. Got to make sure that the uh, the two band switches agree, so we're on the uh, seven uh, megahertz here for the uh, uh, for the driver and oscillator, and we're here at seven megahertz, uh, 40 meters for the uh, uh, <coughs> Pi network for the uh, transmitter in the front end of the receiver. So, going to listen. We we got a fairly fair clear frequency. Just tune for maximum noise to get roughly the right place. Uh, okay, we got the transmitter the same place as the receiver. Uh, <coughs> When you've got this in the tune mode, uh, what you're going to read here is uh, uh, oscillator buffer, and you just tune that for max. You're going to set this drive for one on the low bands. So let's go ahead and uh, put it in the transmit mode, and we'll tune the grid for maximum on the meter. And it should come up. There's a little uh, uh, marked zone here between two and three mils. Got a peak there. That's all we need. Now, <clears throat> um, we're going to put it in uh, low power. You can select low power or high power. Low power is about 20 watts on this thing. I'm going to change my watt meter over here. And I'm just going to put it in transmit mode uh, and tune, tune for max. I'm going to uh, dip the plate and then I'll adjust the loading for the most power. It was just about on from tuning the receiver and the loading just about right. We'll re re-peak the thing and we're getting about 10 watts. Now I'm going to try something I've never done before, and that's to try to modulate this thing. Hello. Yeah, I'm seeing something on the scope. So that's going to work. Uh, this mic jack on this thing was wired uh, backwards uh, according to the convention of every other radio I've ever used. So I'm going to put this thing in high power now. Change my watt meter over here. Um, put on my glasses so I can read it. And uh, uh, let me get it peaked up and then I'll swing the camera around so that you can see that also. So here we go again. watts which is just about right. <coughs> All right let's see I'm going to turn the camera around here so you can see the scope and the watt meter I hope. There we go. Okay that's on the uh, the 200 watt scale 50 watts 100 watts see what it does. See if we can touch up the grid drive any. 
doesn't make any difference. So, oh, you can actually see a dip on this meter here. I didn't know that, that but you can see a resonance dip on the uh, on a meter here. So that's good. I didn't think it would do that, but it did. And. I'm going to put it back in a tune mode, check my grid drive adjustment. Back to high power and about 60 watts. Okay, now let's see if we can get this thing to modulate properly. Hello, hello. Got to adjust my scope. Two. W6W. UH. <laughs> so, not too shabby.